sisi kama waipa tunataka kuweka msimamo wetu wazi kwamba sisi tuko azimio na azimio iko unshakeable na kama kuna mtu anataka kwenda njia ingine aende peke yake awache ku drag azimio na awache ku drag majina za watu wa azimio tunasema hati leader wetu aheshimiwe kwa sababu he is a national leader na vile vile tunapongeza msimamo wa mheshimiwa Raila kwa kupindua msimamo wake kusema hataki kuungana na serikali ya Kenya kwanza tunampongeza sana na tunapongeza ile statement imetolewa leo na ODM ya kwamba wale wanaotaka kwenda waende peke yao na sisi tunawashinikiza wanaotaka kwenda waende kivyao kama individuals waache kugawanya azimio waache kugawanya uh, members wetu wao wana uwezo wa kwenda kivyao lakini sisi tuko imara na hatutageuka and we are not boarding in the existing government sisi tuko na GNZ na tunataka yale mahitaji ambayo GNZ wameweka yarekebishwe sisi hatutaki kwenda coalition we don't want dialogue there is no dialogue this is not a political issue hii ni mambo ya leadership mismanagement corruption tunataka uh, president atoke kimaso maso awaeleze wa Kenya zile issues ambazo wamepatiwa atazitackle vipi atazitackle lini na yale anaweza kufanya afanye na yale hawezi aambie wananchi hiyo tunataka transparency hatutaki mambo mengi no dialogue kila kitu is on the table he knows what to do let him do it we don't want dialogue thank you yeah, let me let me go on record also uh, to say that uh, um, Azimio as a coalition, no single party has given notice under Political Parties Act to quit. But individuals belonging to Azimio coalition or who has been nominated or elected uh, under Azimio uh, would wish to join the government and we want to say that they are free to do so. Those who want to be appointed they can present themselves and I believe they will be vetted. We also want to say that, uh, uh, you know, there are issues uh, related to GNC. There are Kenyans who have suffered uh, during the Bandamano time, the Azimio ones and the current Bandamano. People have died. Uh, even some have not yet been buried. In Makweni, we have a total of 10 who have died in this Bandamano business. And we are saying there must be justice. Justice has to be served to these families. There's a young man of 12 years who died. The family uh, needs to see justice. All police officers who killed people are known. The police officer who killed Rex is known. We need to see them prosecuted. And that will give justice to Kenyans, will show fairness. But the government has not even addressed that particular issue of those people who have died and whose people properties have been destroyed. So I want to see justice served to Kenyans who are injured, those who are in the hospital. Uh, there is an act of parliament called Victims Compensation Act, uh, which was brought to the house by Emilio Thiambo. It has a victims compensation fund. These victims deserve, you know, to see justice. They deserve to be compensated. They deserve to be taken to hospital. And therefore, without addressing that, it is difficult to address another matter when Kenyans are suffering. Uh, let me join my colleagues and uh, put the record straight. We in WIPA, whereby is one of the principal parties in Azimio, want to affirm to our, all our uh, followers in the country that Azimio is intact, Azimio is unshakable, and Azimio cannot be cracked. And we know very well there are people working very hard to cause division within Azimio working very hard to bring some uh, unprecedented moves. All the parties of Azimio have put it very clearly, they are not boarding. And we are saying this as WIPA, that we are looking for justice for all the victims of uh, police brutality in the country. I will stay firm, I will stay focused. I know very well, uh, some people are feeling very bad because their intention is to make sure that Azimio breaks, then justice cannot be found. 
and I want to support the statement by our partners in ODM that whoever is boarding, let him buy his own ticket, not a ticket backed by the parties or by the coalition. Whoever want to board this ship, which I can tell you, it's a sinking ship. We cannot accept. So, as finance bill. I will look forward and I want to ask the government of the day, please don't think that talking tough, don't think that Gen Z's will uh, back down their uh, uh, intentions until justice and the demands which were given by Gen Z's are fully, fully fulfilled. And we will remain firm and we want to urge all Kenyans, if you pick it, you want to to, uh, to, 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 to pick, it, pick it in peace, pick it without causing violence, without destroying people's property, and will stand for the justice of the people of Kenya, and justice must be seen to be done. Thank you. Any question? Uh, wacha niseme ya kwamba hakuna muyumba yumba ya mheshimiwa Raila Amolo Odinga. Kuna watu wachache ndio wanayumba yumba lakini si Raila. Watu wachache kidogo, wachache tu. Mapua mbili tatu. <laughs> Mapua mbili tatu ndio inayumba yumba lakini si Raila Amolo Odinga. Kwa hivyo sisi tuko imara na tunasema ya kwamba tutaendelea kukaa na wananchi. I, I, I want to say that uh, uh, the, the, the Speaker of National Assembly, a renowned lawyer, has been very clear. You know, once you have been, once cabinet has been dissolved, then you cannot say that you had been vetted before. And there was even a Gazette notice. Everybody has to be vetted afresh. And uh, that is the legal position. Uh, there is no way you can say you were vetted before. There was a bad president of 2013 and 2017 when, when uh, and it had a different uh, uh, reason in that particular time. But right now, no one had then been sacked. Our government had come back to power. But for now, everybody had been sacked for a good reason. Those who have been reinstated, they have to be vetted afresh. We speak. We Atupandi ilo ndege ambayo inaenda kuanguka. <laughs> Atupandi na atutaki na atufikiri na atuangali. Kwa hivyo, if you want to appoint Banaruto, appoint your full cabinet tomorrow. But forget about us. We are not interested at all at all. Not as Azimio. Previously we have seen leaders um, show dalliance to the opposition and we didn't have this much noise. Why is this causing so much acrimony in the, in the coalition? Uh, there is no acrimony. We just okay. put in records straight. My friend, we are living in new normal. There is a new norm in town called Gen C. Whoever does not align itself with, he will perish. It's as simple as that. <laughs> the politics of this country has changed completely. And I have said this and I will say it again. If you are not careful, 2027, you will see leaders who will not order a single rally, who will not put a poster, who will not put a speaker, who will not order a single rally, but they will be elected. It's a new norm in town. There is a new chef in town called Gen Z. Please listen to what he's cooking and enjoy the meal.
We know, we know there were attempts, callings and whatever, and we dismissed them. We are very firm. Uh, na mandazi mbili mbili, na hatutaki mandazi yao. God bless you.